Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet, and just four days after the release of Ubuntu 22.4 LTS, Pop OS has released its new version with the latest Ubuntu as its base. Now, Pop OS is one of the most popular Linux distro that is developed by System76, a hardware company that makes Linux compatible computers. Although Pop OS is based on Ubuntu, but it's not just another Ubuntu system with a flashy new skin. It is much more than that and one can argue that in many aspects it's probably better than Ubuntu itself. So in today's video, we'll check out the new release of Pop OS, compare it with Ubuntu 22.04 and check out what's special about Pop OS. Alright, so let's start. Alright, so with the new release out, probably the first thing that you would want to do is to upgrade your existing Pop OS system to the latest version. And for this, Pop OS has made a dedicated panel under settings called OS Upgrade and Recovery Panel. Now this lets you seamlessly upgrade to a new release. You'll not find this option in Ubuntu or any other distro with vanilla GNOME 4.42 desktop. The latest Pop OS release is bringing few changes in this panel as well. Now the frequency of notification for available updates can be adjusted. It is set to weekly notifications by default. This can be changed to daily or monthly. There's also a new option to give a specific date and time for system updates. Now if you're installing Pop OS for the first time or want to do a fresh install, Pop OS provides you three different types of images, a standard image, Nvidia specific image and an image for Raspberry Pi. With Nvidia image, latest Nvidia graphic drivers are installed along with the system install. Now this is pretty useful if you use Nvidia graphic card, it saves you from the hassle. Ubuntu does not provide a dedicated Nvidia image but it gives you an option to install third-party drivers and selecting this option will also give you a system with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed. So it's not that difficult, uh, but you need to know where to look for it. All right, now let's talk about the installation. Now both distros have different installer, but installation options are pretty much the same. Pop OS installer is designed in collaboration with elementary OS team and shares the same elementary OS look and feel. Now the major difference here is in the bootloader. While Ubuntu has Grub2 bootloader, Pop OS uses SystemD boot bootloader, which apparently is faster and smaller in size. I tested it on my test machine with fairly recent configuration. And in my test, Pop OS boot time was around one and a half seconds faster than Ubuntu which may not be a significant difference, but in machines with older configuration, probably the difference is much more noticeable. All right, now moving on to the desktop. The desktop of both the distros is actually a tweaked version of GNOME 42, customized to enhance its functionality. The desktop of Pop OS is called Cosmic. The dock in both desktop, Ubuntu and Pop OS is the same dash to dock extension, but tweaked differently to give the desktop their signature look. There's a slight difference in the items on the left side of the top bar. Ubuntu has the activities menu here, which is what the default GNOME also has, and the show applications is at the extreme bottom of the dock. In Pop OS, activities menu is called workspaces, which is the leftmost item in the top bar. And here, instead of the new horizontal workspace switcher of GNOME 42, Pop OS still uses the vertical workspace switcher, which is a look of older GNOME version prior to version 40. There is a change in the applications menu as well. Instead of GNOME default show applications menu that we see in Ubuntu, Pop OS applications menu is a floating panel with all the applications at the center, search bar at the top and the folders at the bottom. Now let's talk about the differences in terms of desktop features. Now this is where I believe Pop OS really shines. The Cosmic Desktop is loaded with a variety of features that makes interaction with computer a lot faster, efficient and in turn improves the overall experience. First and one of my favorite is the launcher. Now this resembles to Mac OS Spotlight. In Pop OS, when you press the super key or windows key, the launcher bar pops up at the center. Now at first glance, it looks like a regular search bar, but it is much more than that. So let me give you a quick demo of its capabilities. 
So if you have some open applications and then you press the launcher key, uh, it will list all the open apps below the search box. This helps you to quickly navigate to a specific app. Keyboard shortcuts are also available next to the app listing if you want to navigate using keyboard. You of course get the basic functionality of searching for an app by typing its name. Using launcher you can also navigate to a directory. For example, if you want to go to the pictures directory under home, uh, you can type in the path here. So let's type root and then home. Now instead of typing the complete text, launcher supports tab completion as well. So if I type H and press tab, it automatically updates the remaining. Then X for XPS tech and then tab again and then P for pictures folder. Now if I press enter, it will take me to the pictures folder. Now you can also do calculations like 20 into 5 and it will show you the result below. You can also run bash commands from here. So let's say I want to run the update command. For running bash command, I have to prefix the command with the word run and then type the command, which in this case, it's sudo apt get update. Pressing enter will open the terminal and run the command. So you can see how powerful this application is. Now to get a complete list of what's all possible, type in the question mark and it will list the help options. All right, now the second popular feature is the auto tiling of windows. Turning on this feature will automatically divide the screen in equal parts and place the newly opened apps in proper portion of the screen. Now this again saves you from the hassle of arranging windows separately for each app. Now the settings for auto tiling is available at the top bar on the right side. There are few customization options also available. Uh, like highlighting the active window and choosing the gap between each window. If you are someone who work with multiple windows open or have a large display and want to efficiently use the screen real estate, you'll find this feature very useful. All right, moving on. Next is the customization of desktop. Pop OS allows much finer level of customization compared to Ubuntu. The desktop customization option is available under settings. First is the super key, which can be mapped to open launcher or workspace or the applications menu. You can enable hot corner to open workspaces screen. Now top bar can be customized from here. You can disable the workspaces and application button or move the date and time to either side of the top bar instead of the default center position. The appearance lets you choose the desktop theme between light and dark mode. The dock can also be customized from here and there are many options available. You can change the size, position, visibility, etc. All right, now let's talk about the settings app. Uh, Pop OS has some additional options available. We have seen the desktop panel. There's also a firmware panel that detects firmware updates and lets you update the firmware with a click. OS upgrade and recovery panel is another setting that lets you run OS updates or upgrade to the latest version. Another new addition in Pop OS 22.04 is the support panel. Now this provides you link to Pop OS documentation. There's also link to join Pop OS community support chat. So in case you're having any issue, help is just a click away. There are many Pop OS specific channels, including region based channels. There are around 5,412 users available. Apart from this, support window also lets you create log files and then send it later to system 76 support team if you're using their computer. All right, so the last major difference that I want to cover is the package management tool. Pop OS uses flat packs as its default package management, whereas Ubuntu uses Snap. There are few additional apps that are available in Pop OS, but not in Ubuntu. And here's the list of some of those apps. Alright, so these were all the reasons that makes Pop OS different from Ubuntu. If you are a power user and want to use an Ubuntu based distro, I highly recommend you give Pop OS a try. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do write in the comment section below. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.